Today on Tanium Tech Talks, we're going to interview a Tanium pit crew partner in Germany with a very creative software package migration solution that you want to see. Welcome back to Tanium Tech Talks. I'm your host, Ashley McGlone. And I'm Alex Miller. So today we are interviewing a Tanium Pit Crew partner. Pit Crew is partner innovators of Tanium. If you've watched the show for very long, we have a number of these elite partners who have passed a bar of certification and a few other steps so that when you engage them for Tanium services, you know that you're getting expert service. And we really want you to, to take advantage of this as Tanium customers. And these are partners who are technical, they're experienced with Tanium, and oftentimes they have created some clever solutions. And that's one of the things that I want you to see today. Now, our partner today is located in Germany. So if you are a German customer, but particularly, uh, we're going to talk about a software package migration solution that they built, and they do offer it globally. So before we get too far ahead of things, I would like our guest from Identity to introduce himself. Hi, Ashley. Um, I'm Alex. I'm co-founder and CEO from Ideri. Um, short summary of my life. Next year, it will be 30 years that I have started in uh, software operations. So deploying software, deploying operating systems, patching. Um, I started in a local German company called NetSupport. I was in the development team. Um, and then after the last 30 years, we had a uh, evolving of, of evolution of the product. Today, this product is, um, is uh, from Ivanti. It's called DSM. Ivanti has put this product on end of life for uh, end of December next year, 26. So all the customers who are using this software have uh, to migrate. Um, and it was a very good product in, in Germany. Um, and we have searched for different solutions. And so we uh, found Tanium and we choose Tanium for the next version because our customers are customers for 10, 20, 50, uh, 25 years. And now we want to have a new solution, which perhaps will also be that long in, in uh, the customer. Well, this is the first show where we've had two Alexes in one episode, so this will be fun, but it's, it's great to have both Alex uh, here today. And like I said, this is a really good solution because Tanium is an extensible platform so that you can solve the challenges that are unique to your environment. It's been that way from the beginning. And often that's where our partners, their strengths really come in because they, they're in touch with customers, they know their needs, and they have clever solutions like this. So um, as a partner, you've uh, come on board with Tanium. You're now part of the Elite Pit Crew. And by the way, uh, I was just talking as before we hit the record button, you know, our annual Converge conference, it's that season we're talking about a lot. You can get to meet this team in Florida this November 2025 at Converge. So if you'd like to see more, meet them in person, ask some questions, you'll get to do that there. So uh, we could talk about this uh, and then just keep talking, but I, as usual, we like to see demos on this show. So uh, I'm going to let Alex and Alex run this part of the, as we're co-hosting today. Yeah, Alex, if you could please walk us through a demonstration of your product. Okay. So um, I will start with the starting point of a migration. And the starting point is the DSM console. So that's the package. That's the software deployment solution where the customers are starting. That's the solution they have today. And now I want to show you how they can move to a new target. So um, I have prepared some demo scripts here. So we have here, for example, a script. Um, you probably see it for the first time. There are a few commands like uh, set a variable, change something in the registry, install some files, install MSI, and then here machine-based command, user-based commands, create link. That's the issue. We have to migrate this kind of packages to, uh, for example, in Tanium. Um, so if I click here in the context menu, you see that there is no, no special export menu. Um, so I will switch first in our console to show you how to start the configuration. So we have also 
uh, config uh, console. Um, and the first thing I'm doing is I'm, I'm configuring Ideri move. So it's for moving packages. Um, so I'm asked for what's the name of the server and what's the name of the share? Where is the target directory? And I want to export everything into the demo folder here. So I'm choosing the export folder. When I click here on OK, um, we are just integrating using the SOAP interface into the source environment from the customer who has to, to move to, to Tanium. Um, that's a one-time step. Um, so we're preparing the migration processes. And that's already done. So I'm going back into the environment. Just to summarize, DSM, just for you, uh, has a scripting engine with 200 commands, create links, register keys, and so on. And that's the issue. How can we migrate those kind of packages to, to Titanium? So as I said, um, one time registering um, inside of Ivanti DSM. OK. So now here, um, here it's a new en entry for Ideri export. I can even do a multi-select of packages so I can export more packages than one uh, automatically. Now we are connecting to Ivanti. We are, we are reading information like what's the package name? What's the idea of the package? Does this package support uninstall? Does it support reinstall? Does it support user parts and so on? So we are getting all the metadata from, from the database and we are copying uh, the files, the mass data, just in our repository. I would say the usual DSM customer has hundreds of packages or even thousands of packages. And after that, I can switch to the new environment. Here, if I press refresh, then the two packages are already in our environment. If I take a look here, I have the same scripts like it was in DSM. I can just double click. I can do modifications, whatever. I can create a first um, test for the installation. So I click here, start installation. So package is installed. I can start the application. 7zip is installed with all the configurations I had. And I can just test the uninstallation and and then you can see it's especially interesting for the DSM customers. There is no delete in, or there is no delete MSI or product or so, but we have been successful removing it. It's just all the functionality from DSM we are rescuing. Now let's take a look into um, the Tanium environment. Um, there is no package from the vendor Ideri demo. So it's still empty here in Tanium. Um, we can go here into the Tanium integration view. Um, version is something which is not managed in, in Ivanti. So uh, we have to add this. I'm just putting here because it's a must field in Tanium. It's not available in, in DSM, so it's missing. Uh, we have to add it um, and then just click on deploy. And now we are compressing, we are calling Tanium, we are uploading the files, we are orchestrating Tanium, um, and that's already done. So let's go back to Tanium. Let's search for Hideri. You see here is a new entry. Um, we have here um, the package created. It's still working, Tanium internally, but you see here we have uh, uploaded the file uh, we have created deployment operations rules. We have uh, created removal operations. Uh, we have defined install verification rules. So everything is completely done. Uh, the only thing missing is just create a deployment, assign the software to the group you want to, and that's it. Magic, I don't know how much minutes, but talking, configuring, uh, exporting two packages, uploading Utanium. So you see it's a huge, massive speed up for any migration process. Alex, you, you recognize the need in the industry to have a migration tool for Avanti DSM packages. Uh, what's been the general response from uh, customers, potential customers on your product? I, I, I wouldn't just answer with our product, I would answer with the combination of the product. So um, in Germany, we have a, a few uh, local competitors 
But Ivanti DSM was the only uh, with having huge customers with 10,000s of clients. Um, so so um, they are lucky to, sh to, to get Tenium shown by us. Um, and not only having Intune or SCCM, but having a real new opportunity. And with the combination that we can migrate the packages so smoothly, they are very happy. And where I am, for example, very excited about is our first customer. This was the company where Ivanti DSM with the former name was 32 years ago built. So this was created. They have this product 30 years it was evolving and evolving, and, and, and they choose us and Tanium together, uh, which is a big door opener for us too. Um, and we are currently, I think we have three, 40, 30 POCs. So that, that's huge. Yeah. Well, you've already shown us this, this example of what your product can do. What, what is next on the horizon for you, Alex? I'm going to converge to speak with your product manager. <laughs> Uh, to add some feature requests. Um, and what I like about Tenium is the automate. I think there's a huge opportunity here. At the same time, I'm also currently investing a lot of time into AI. And I want to search for solutions where we can uh, combine AI with, with, um, with the Tenium opportunities they have with the real-time environment and so on. Alex, in this uh, demonstration you just gave, you uh, migrated about you know two packages for us. You mentioned yeah. you mentioned some customers having hundreds of packages. What kind of time frames are you looking at to say migrate a hundred packages for for any customers watching that might be very interested? Perhaps a, a little bit different answer. The progress or the process how we are going through the steps is we are first scanning the environment of the customer. Okay. It's uh, something the customer needs five minutes or so. Um, and I, I will show you um, the result of this uh, is, for example, we are telling him, hey, you, the, the product itself is, using two, is offering 200 commands. Your company is using 126. Um, and then we say, hey, overall, of all the packages, you are using 77,000 commands, which must be migrated. Um, uh, and looking at the packages, this is from a customer. Um, they have 10,000 packages, but to be fair, without drivers and without patching, they still have 3,500. And then we said, hey, we can do 75% fully and partially 30%. So we still did, we, uh, uh, we go more into say, hey, your packages have 12,000 ifs. Uh, they have 8,000 variables. They have, I don't know, um, you see all the commands. And then I'm, then I'm asking them, what do you think, how long would you need to recreate everything? And then, then we are talking about years, okay? And we say, okay, we are, we are talking about perhaps four, five packages per hour because we still have to test them and so on. We have to upload them. Um, so... Um, if I go, would go down to three, um, then I'm 100% sure when we're going to four or five, it depends. So you can have packages with just execute an exit file, but you see here they have ifs and else. So you're in Germany, uh, we, are, we are doing everything high sophisticated, yeah. Um, but long story short, I think we can save about 80% of the time. That's, that's incredible, Alex. You're, you're sending out a, a, a life raft for people who may not have known what they were going to do next. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and, we are looking, and we are looking also forward to, to offer this for SCCM migrations and so on. In that case, it's not that complicated, but we have all the, the interfaces already be built. So we have uh, uh, created REST API calls to this solution, to that solution. So we are going to just uh, add the migration solutions for, for other products too. And I'm very happy about being a member of the pit crew because it's, it's, it's just, it's puts you on fire. <laughs> well, Alex, uh, thank you so much for this demo today. Wow. And, and as you mentioned, German ingenuity is uh, in the forefront here. And I've never seen packages broken down this way with how many commands and it, it, it really illustrates 
the difference between simple packages versus complex packages and the amount of scripting and commands in there. It's, it's a really nuanced way to look at the migration. And wow, 80% time savings on package migration. I mean, this is like bread and butter, everyday IT installing software packages. That's what we do, right? So now you have a migration path from um, Avanti DSM, that, which is now end of life, directly to Tanium Deploy. So uh, as Alex mentioned, they're looking at other migration paths as well. So if you want to get in touch with them, so Alex, where can people find more information? How can they reach you to engage your services? So I think the easiest way is just to go on our website, www.ideri or either just put it in the name. So it's, I don't know how to spell it in English, uh, .com. And then you can um, add package, uh, packaging suite. We are also searching for partners uh, because we think we have here a huge benefit for, for the customers um, and for the partners because we have, in Germany, we have about 700 DSM customers. They have to migrate because it's end of life. We cannot do it on our own. So open, we are opening our hands for all the partners. Um, I'm looking forward to, to meet a few of them in, in, in uh, Orlando. And yeah, I think we have here a huge benefit, uh, possibility. This is why we have the pit crew. And this is why we Tanium invest in partners and why we recommend them to you for creative solutions like this. So like you said, I've got in the show notes below, I've got links that will get you to their website where you can get more information and contact them either as a customer who wants to use this service or as another partner who would like to take and offer this service to help customers get their package library migrated. So thank you for joining us today for this episode of Tanium Tech Talks. Until next time. Go Tanium. Thank you. Thank see you. you in Orlando. All right. We'll see you then. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah,